Hi, I'm Warren Santner, a solutions architect with Amazon Web Services. I'm really excited to be here today to talk to you about Amazon Virtual Private Cloud, or VPC for short. Amazon VPC allows you to provision your own isolated section of the cloud for your resources. Today, we're gonna consider how you configure your first Amazon VPC. In order to decide on how you're gonna make some configuration decisions, you're going to look at who your users are, what systems are accessing your resources, and where they're accessing those resources from. We're going to step through several design patterns taking into account those three criteria. Let's start with the first use case where you might have the need for publicly accessible resources. In this case, within our VPC, we can configure a public subnet. A public subnet will get access to and from the internet through the internet gateway on your Amazon VPC. This is very useful, but over time you might see that your needs evolve. Perhaps there's a need for a private subnet. Some resources need to be isolated in their own private subnets. We can certainly do this. We can provision a private subnet and access between the public and private subnet is enabled through the internal routing of your VPC. You can use network access control lists and security groups to really control the flow of traffic between your subnet. So we've evolved from a public subnet to a private subnet, but you might realize there's a need for connectivity back to your on-premises network or your data center. You can certainly do this. You can add a virtual private gateway to your VPC, and that virtual private gateway can enable connectivity to your data center or organization's network through VPN tunnels or a dedicated connection called AWS Direct Connect. So now we've got an Amazon VPC with public and private subnets and routed connectivity back to your organization's network. Some organizations and customers, though, ask us about deploying an Amazon VPC that is only private, only accessible from their on-premises network. And you can certainly do that. We could just remove the public subnets from our VPC and run only private subnets in this VPC. Hopefully it's been helpful to run through these design patterns, considering who your users are, what systems are accessing your resources, and where they're accessing those resources from. If you have more questions on VPC design, please go to aws.amazon.com answers. Thank you.